Ladies and gentlemen, it is Michael Palmisano here, and I don't know what to say. I, I was in Hershey, Pennsylvania for a soccer tournament with my son over the weekend, and the, the dings just started happening. Ding, 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 ding. Finally, my cousin JC, who plays keys in Moody Moose, who, by the way, I'm sitting in with Hot August Music uh, here in Maryland on Saturday and doing the after party, um, said, dude, you just got tagged by the GOAT. It's Jason Shadra from Premier Guitar. Like, dude, what? Did you reach out? You've been in touch. I said, well, I gotta look at my phone. And I look at it, and it just says right there from Derek and Susan, hey, Guitargate, try this one on for size. Totally unsolicited. And so, of course, the the, the, the lowest cockles of my heart, just, just, just like a volcano going off, just like, oh, I'm so excited. He's my favorite guitar player alive. They're my favorite touring band in the game. It, they're the best touring band in the game. You know this, I know this, we all know this, right? And uh, and if this song, Gravity, is a new song that just launched. And fun fact, my friend Mark Hopkins, who also digged me, dinged me, said, hey, dude, this is my buddy Gabe's song. He helped write it. Um, and he played on my new record. So I got to check it out. So here I am on YouTube. I typed in Tedeschi Trucks Band Gravity, and it says, oh, stand by. It says, first ever live performance from Gravity from the album I'm in the Moon 3, performed the same day the album was released, live at Red Rocks in Morrison, Colorado. Here we go. Let's hit the button. This is Ice Cold. Derek, I hope it's you out there. Maybe it's maybe it's one of the people that works your Instagram account. But for me to you, I hope one day we can share a lick together. I, I looked on your calendar. It doesn't look like you're coming through Baltimore anytime soon. But you had a long run up to Beacon. I don't know. Maybe my wife and I will cruise up. Uh... Let's hit the button. Here we go. New Tedeschi Trucks Band. I love it. Ooh. Okay, see, this is what I mean. This is such a professional arrangements. arrangement. We're 52 seconds in. Cut that in half and the verse starts. And there was so much that happened in the intro. You got stacked keys. That's Gabe playing and singing. Um, you, you got two drummers. You got the horn section feathered in there. Uh, so much. Let's go back to the beginning. Again, if you're new to this channel... Yeah, we start and stop. This is a channel for live musicians. Try to figure out what's going on, what to think about when you go to tackle this. Here we go. Let's start it from the beginning, talk you through it. Try to figure it out. That right there, that's like a, a minor third drop in the keys. Okay, so G sharp to F is your, your tonality changes. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna guess here, right? I'm gonna guess that this is um, that this is somewhat diatonic, okay? So I'm just gonna try to put together these are little dyads which are descending. I'm gonna try to put it together and see if we can get close. So I'm going to assume G sharp major. Okay. So first inversion, G sharp major, right? Walking down diatonically. So first inversion. Oh, sorry. Second inversion, fifth in the bass, down to first inversion, okay? So that's diatonic. But that, 
Is that a flat seven in there? Yes. Okay, so now, so we got, so G sharp seven, G sharp mixo. So I'm just gonna assume we go down diatonically. Remember, whenever we have two major chords, one whole step apart, they should be five and four. So, so this should be five, four, three, two, one. So it's key of C sharp major. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So key is C sharp major over G sharp. So you got a G sharp in the bass. That's your tonality. Right, G sharp seven. And you walk down uh, from that. So here's, here's C sharp. You walk down from there diatonically. And you hear that down to F. Does it catch it? And you hear Derek just turn on the volume swell. Now where does it catch that? Yeah, okay. Down to F sharp seven. So it's the same, it's the same basic move. It's the same the same, sorry, the same basic thing. So you're descending in dyads, right? Little double stops from uh, C sharp, so G sharp seven to F seven. Very, very, very cool. Here's shake. And then we're firmly in C. So it's that four to one move. So C sharp seven. So you got this little. Right, that move. Horns come in. Right. One thing I've always noticed about Tedeschi Trucks Band or Derek's playing in general is it's not the typical blues box where you're thinking going across. That it's very much, it's very linear, up and down a melodic line, right? It, it's Yes, he's a slide player, not everything is engineered towards that, but it, it's got that vibe where you're, you're going up and down a melodic line instead of just over. Let's keep going. C7. Fix that mic. So I'm giving you the hand signals for what the chords are. Again, this is just used, being used to learning songs. So four would be F, so it's all C7. Then goes to gravity. Four, one, five, one. So G and F respectively, but then something happens. Five four. Ooh, flat three. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Flat six. Back to G sharp, and there's that descending that you hear. That's how it ties together. God 
damn it, I love Derek. Okay, we're getting in the weeds for this one. I just wanna make sure we have the form right. So when it goes to the chorus, four to one, five to one, four to one, five to one. Then when it does it again, it goes five, four. Now Derek is just focusing on these triads because he's got the slide. So G major, F major triad. And when it goes to the flat three, just move that slide back down two frets. So you're on E flat, that is the minor third of C. And then it goes down to that, that uh, flat six, if you will, you know, that G sharp major. And then that's when it starts that, that, that cascade again. And that's how it ties together. And it's got that funky little pull back to C7. And Derek is just, you know, up there. Come on, Mike, let's just listen. Come on, come on. Get that push by the horns. This is just so good. Hit. I, I love those. The, the, those flat threes in there. It's those little slides that. That's the stuff. A little push by the horn. Harmony. It moves that four. Hear what the bass is doing? The bass has moved on from that thick funk groove to playing that like one, three, five thing for each one. So it's like. <laughs> that little bit of motion when it goes to the chorus, it really just pushes everything along. When the horns pick it up, this is, this is what arrangement means, right? You're not just, you're getting past the chords and you're, you're, you're finding ways to elevate it and to add motion that accentuate uh, the pieces in the band. So that bass. Keys. Okay, again, this is the first time, it said it in the description, it's the first time they've played this live. So I don't know if this solo on the record goes longer or not, but one thing that's always stood out to me about Derek's playing is how much he listens. Did you know, fun fact, he doesn't use in-ears or monitors. The whole band mixes themselves to the room, and then he comes and mixes himself to everything else. He is... What makes him one of the best musicians in the game is commitment to listening, right? And just serving the song. Listen to this little thing that Gabe just throws in here and Derek immediately turns, lets him go. Right, that, that little, that, you know, that, that. And, and immediately, that, that, that could be a part in support, but what happens? Goes back to Compton. See that hand signal? Say, say that's for the chorus. So again, first time they've played this. And this is what you want to think about. You know the verse. You're soloing over the verse, right? It's that groove. 
you know where the chorus comes in on the four. The horns open it up, hi-hats open, the bass moves around and starts playing the arpeggio. Um, and so they're just watching each other. No one knows how long they're going to solo for. Um, they might have a plan beforehand, but they might abandon the plan when it feels something on stage. So everybody's just watching him, and they know that when they're whatever this section is done, they're going into the chorus. Watch that little flip. <laughs> commitment to laying down that super low left hand. Yeah, Gabe. Whoa, what was that? Sounds like two notes. No. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 You hear that? Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Stop, stop. It is two, it is two notes. It is two notes coming out of there. How is he doing that? So, that, that. But it's like, but it's like, it's like. It's almost like he put an effect on, but it's, maybe that's put that red thing on top of there. I, I don't know. With just, with just plugged in, turned towards him, who knows? So he's pushing up to the one, but it's, it's got that. You hear how there's like two notes? But that's clearly one, right? Shooting for that flat seven. There it is again. What the hell? <laughs> Slide players out there. I, I'm not one. You might think it's odd that it is odd that they would he whoever would tag me as a non-slide player and say try this one on for size. Oh, <laughs> the slide players. What the hell is happening here? What is it, it? Is he actually getting two notes or get it, making it bleed there? Drop it in the comments. That is so cool. And, and, and what makes it, by the way, is doing it over and over and over again. Oh God, please don't end this recording saying my space is almost full. Freaking computers. Um, and just locking in with the drums. Just repeat, repetition, 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 and just grooving with the rhythm. <laughs> Thank you. 
above the friends. Dude, okay. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what's making that sound. If he's actually getting to, um, but that I feel like this is a. He's gonna watch this. He's gonna say this is not a first, right? But it, this is the first time I've noticed it so glaringly. Um, normally with the slide, right? You're you're be, be, besides your chord comping, like you're doing it to get that super vocal single note line you know like you do with a singer okay that's what makes Derek Derek is he's he sounds like an 80 year old black church singer that that's that's what we all want to sound like um but you know typically you don't get people that can sing an overtone or get another note with that note it's a single pure line um which is what you get with the slide playing it's what your your goal is for those high searing lines um, so to hear so to hear the other notes come through uh, is just so wild. Um, I don't have the words for it. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Let's hit the button again. Bringing it down. This is what makes this band so good. Listen to the dynamic range of everyone. Love those shades. I need to get that. Right. Look, the whole groove is there. It's not lost. It's just a two. Like I said, is they're the best touring band in the land. Uh, Gabe, awesome to see you playing and singing uh, with this band. Uh, unbelievable. Um, and just, uh, I I'm going to stop this just because my computer was telling me that I'm out of space and I really hope this gets saved. But I might have to come up to one of these Beacon shows. Um, but anyway, Derek, Tedeschi Trucks, the whole band, thanks for tagging me. Um, I hope that all of you out there check out this new record, check out Gravity, go see them on tour. I'm telling you, coming from me, they, they go see them. Always serve the song. Incredible listener, incredible dynamic ranges, incredible arrangements. You get to see Derek sing. You get to see Susan, Susan Tedeschi just like just see her through the sky. Um, I can't wait. I, I've seen him a couple times before. Can't wait to see him again from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thanks for tagging me. Thanks for wanting me to see this and appreciating what I do for a living. And for all you out there, I hope that this motivates and inspires you to keep this in your hands and keep learning. Try to get a little bit better each day. If you're looking for a place uh, to help you do that, I made one. It's called GuitarGate. It's the first link in the description. It's got all my lessons, like a dozen of my courses, all step by step. But most of all, it's a community based around sharing music, uh, learning music, um, and just keeping this thing in your hands more often than not. That's it, everybody. Have a great day. <laughs> See ya. Cheers. Man, I hope this saved. Really good.